It's like a treasure hunt when you're shopping at Ross. You never know what kind of goodies you're going to find. I'm coming home with a couple of bags myself. Let's go ahead and head on in and I'll show you what I got. But first we have to look through all the fun Halloween merchandise. I love this tote. I didn't really, I don't like the fact that it has Ross written in big letters on it, but it was only a dollar, so you can't go wrong with that. I love how these pastries on this dish towel have like little spiders on them and bats and whatnot. At first you can't even see that. Speaking of bats, I love the shape of this bat. That is very unique. And he's only $12.99 for such a statement piece. I have to admit the good pricing here is what draws me every year to find those little knickknacks for Halloween. They can really flesh out your display and some of them look really high end like that little bat there. Love the pillows too, little rest in peace. It's only $11. I try and buy lots of different pillows every year for my display, so that's a good price. <laughs> I'm not really sure what was going on with those ghosts, what they were trying to sing or say, but that was different, I guess. Some salt and pepper shakers. Love that little uh, raven on the stand. He's really dark though, sucks up all the light, but he's only seven bucks. I was half tempted to add him to all the ravens in my display this year. I've been putting them all along the mantelpiece. Got a lot of good ones from the at-home store. We do still need to revisit that one. Um, it, the last time I went, honestly, it was a hodgepodge of merchandise. It seems like, I don't know, they don't have the proper stock people and it was just all the merchandise was thrown everywhere, which is kind of like what we're finding here at Ross. At least here, there are a couple of shelves with all the Halloween merchandise on it, but you'll see as soon as we get through this that the rest of the store, it's just you'll find a piece of merchandise here, a piece there, all throughout the whole store. So I'd, I really thought this was going to be a really quick video, but turns out when you're on the hunt throughout the store, it's going to eat up all your time. But that's what I'm here for. I'm going to do all of your shopping for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of Halloween merchandise store walkthroughs. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is my 22nd store walkthrough of the season. I've got a list of stores I still need to hit. We've still got about 12 or 13 on the list, and I'm sure there will be more that come to mind as we make our way closer to Halloween. But point being, if you want to see all this stuff and don't need to brave the crowds or waste your time going to stores that don't have what you need, just give uh, this nice channel here a subscribe and I will help you out. But anyway, back to the merchandise. I, I'm pretty impressed with a lot of the stuff here. It is very pretty, I would say. So, I mean, for instance, look at these glasses. Well, I guess we'll look at that here in a moment. I have to push these little plates out of the way with a skeleton hand on them. But I just, I love the artwork on these glasses. It's very distinctive. Of course, if the glasses aren't your thing, you can, of course, have a cup of tea. But they got nice plates. All the plate designs, I think, this year are pretty fantastic. Nothing is overtly, like, child-themed Halloween. It's a little bit more elegant and upscale, which I think really appeals to me. Uh, of course, now I say that and we have this big old pumpkin on this bowl. But look at this. This marble bat tray, it was only $15. It was super heavy and beautiful. There's so much good bat decor this year. I kind of wish I was doing another vampire theme, but I'm not. I'm doing witches this year. So there's there's actually, now I think about it, not a whole lot of witch merchandise in the store this year. But gosh, I, do st I love decorating with bats. I think they're just so beautiful. As is this pillow. Wow, I forgot that was here. I should I really like the way that looks with the skulls. And this one with that one skull with the purple bow tie, that's super dapper. Really love that too. Of course, we've got a column of skulls with a raven on it. That's going to run you about $40. I think one of the more pricey items here. Of course, they always have the tag showing you the comparable price, which they list at $50. But I kind of feel like it would be about $50 or more elsewhere, which I guess really isn't that big of a discount but every little bit helps, I guess. Love this tombstone with that, I didn't notice, but like that skull is breaking through the tombstone. It wasn't just like art on the tombstone. That was a pretty neat effect. Of course, here we do have a little witch figurine. Not really a big fan of those, even though I am doing a witch theme inside my house this year. Don't really want to decorate with the dolls. 
It's a shame that Ross doesn't have the animatronics for sale. I would be all over that. But it seems like mostly it's just the home decor. Simple. Like, I think, I'm not sure if I have that cat skeleton, but I did buy a cat skeleton from Ross a couple of years ago to keep in my display. Um, because again, they're just so affordable. Love the salt and pepper shaker with a skull and a raven. That was kind of cute. But they have lots and lots of salt and pepper shakers. Look at this bowl, though, again, with the bat motif. It's got a little wooden bowl top. Oh, it's beautiful. And only $15. This little Frankenstein, I don't know, is that like a cookie jar? I kind of feel like I would put my little dog treats in there. That little ghost, though, is definitely a cookie jar. Look at her little bow on there, and she's eating a candy corn. All right, love this potion bottle. Let's see how much it is. Six bucks. I like the way it has that little snake wrapped around it. I feel like I might want to come back for that. Oh, I guess there's some witch boots there. Of course, I bought witch boots like the first time I ever saw those in a store years and years ago, but they're so like under life size. At least the ones there look a little bit bigger and more realistic. I am thinking I might have to go back and get that potion bottle. There were a couple of items that I realized I forgot to purchase, but I guess these videos help me too to go back and really remember all the things that are there in the store, decide if I really want them or not. I really like this sort of domed raven sculpture with the, uh, the gravestones around it. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It's beautiful. Love it. Very elegant. We also have a standard sort of snow globe with the witch's hat and books. That's not that unique. I think we've seen that like every store, but I am really in love with this other piece. So let's move on. All right, I'm not really sure what these are. They light up. It's just like a decorative vase type thing. I mean, I guess you could put things in it, but then that's going to block the light. So it's got a handle too. What are you supposed to do with those things? I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, we have a skull. And I really like to use the skulls as a reference point to judge pricing in each store. So that skull was only $7. And I feel like the skulls in a lot of other stores now are at least $12. And a lot of them are more like $15. Here's a nice little picture. Again, I think those were bats on it, right? That was kind of nice too. A little salt, another salt and pepper shaker with a cat and dog. Of course, we've got to have the yoga skeletons. Yeah, and a candle holder. I think we're going to see a few versions of that. So this one looks like a haunted house. Not bad. Does seem a little pricey at $8, though. There's some cute items, but what is this? So we have a very strange-looking glass skull. It's It's got an opening at the bottom. Is it just an artistic sculpture skull? I'm not really sure, but don't think I've seen a pattern like that before. Very unique. And I love this little jar too. Look at the face on this pumpkin jack-o'-lantern guy. He kind of looks a little bit like Jack Skellington, but in more of like a deformed, twisted way. Can't go wrong with the stacked pumpkins on a pedestal. Pick your color, orange or white, 20 bucks. You know, those would look nice, like on either side of your fireplace, perhaps. So look at this. This might be one of my favorite pieces in the whole store. What was it, $35? A super heavy bowl held up by more bats. So much bat decor. I absolutely love it, but that was a gorgeous bowl. I wish it came in other colors, though. Not really a fan of that sort of bronzy patina, but it is beautiful. All right, tablecloths, lots of little odds and ends. Looks like we've got some placemats with skulls on them. Here we have a skeleton hiding over here. It looks like it has some interesting eyes. What's going on with that back here? can't really tell. It's $18. I suspect they just light up. It unfortunately doesn't work, so we can't check. But I do like that the eyes sort of bulge out like that. It gives a kind of very creepy look compared to just a general plastic skeleton. Another skull jar. can't really tell what that is on the top of the head, but I don't like it. The bat wreath hanger, though. Pretty nice. I feel like I'm just saying bat this, bat that, but the bats are pretty cool. These plates almost feel like paper plates. Not really sure what they are, but look at these plates. I love the design on that. It's very intricate. That might kind of go with my witch theme as well. I, oh, I guess it's a bowl, huh? I wonder what I could do with that. Look at this skull mug. It's got roses coming out of its mouth. It's very wide, very intricate, and very different. And all for $5. I think that's a price point we're going to pay for most of the mugs in the store. Isn't that little mummy cute holding its pumpkin 
love that. What does this one say? Ghouls just want to have fun. Uh, okay, you know how I feel about the overused phrases. It's very rare, though, these days that some sort of you know, t-shirt or mug or whatever has some sort of slogan that I really think, oh, wow, that's unique and catches me off guard. I guess I've been doing these walkthroughs for too long. I think this is the seventh year in a row we've been doing all of these walkthroughs. So uh, it's hard to find something to phase me. I know more often than not, I criticize some of this merchandise just because, again, I have been decorating now, doing Halloween displays for over 30 years. I can't believe it. My goodness, I'm getting so old. But in all these years, you know, you see the same merchandise over and over and over. So sometimes if I see something and we just pass it, it's great. It doesn't mean it's good or it's bad. And um, I often find things to criticize just simply because I want to see it be made better. And I get a little frustrated with the stores that don't put in very much effort because we deserve to have bigger and better displays every year. So if we're going to be putting in the effort to buy all this stuff, they need to put in a little effort to make it worth buying. All right, we do have some dog toys. So don't worry, we will be getting back to the merchandise here in just a minute. But this is the point where the one big shelf of Halloween merchandise has ended and now it's a hunt throughout the entire store to find anything. And uh, we'll find little pieces here and there. But I like those little plushy toys. They actually have a whole set of dog costumes. You know, in that first shelf, we did see the one costume for a kid. And look at that. I just realized that that is an eyeball. I couldn't tell for the longest time what was going on with that plate. But now we know. There is a pumpkin, I guess, sort of charcuterie board or cheese board. There's another one down here, again, hidden with the other boards. We've got a skull. I can't tell. Is that supposed to be more like a Day of the Dead skull? It was a little hard to see. And we saw, you know, this skeleton hand holding the glass motif has been in a lot of stores. Particularly, we were talking about the plastic versions at like the Dollar Tree. But here you can get the real thing, either in the gold or the silver. I absolutely love those. I do kind of wish they would make them in the wine glass version, though, not just the champagne. Now, I do feel, though, that at $8, that might be a little high per glass when we shop at like the TJ Maxx and the Marshalls, where you often find that sort of same thing. In the past, it was usually about $5. Of course, I know everything's going up these days, so it's hard to judge. But the last time I looked, when they're $5 and now they're $8, that's quite the jump. So I'm wondering if we can get better deals elsewhere. They did look nice. All of these mugs actually look pretty nice. They've got really good artwork going on this year. We've got a couple of jars here. I like how they put like that little ghost on top of the boo jar. And then, of course, a little skull on top of the skulls. I think that could have been just perhaps a little bit more creative. It's a lot of skulls going on there. Not really sure. Were those skeleton hands making like a heart when they're pushed together? Or was that just my imagination? Look at this. Well, not this. That's kind of neat. It's got a little skeleton rimmed bowl. I think I've seen that in one of our other walkthroughs too. But I love that big spider dish. I guess it's like a platter. That was kind of neat. I haven't seen a bowl like this before that has the skull or the skull with one bone to kind of prop it up like that. Uh, that's different. So give them credit for that. I like seeing the new things we haven't actually seen before. Although I think you'll see in a moment that that doesn't necessarily make it any better. I do like that little spider plate. But uh, there's that bowl again. And let's just see. Look how it just tips over like that. The base is not that sturdy. Like I said, I would have expected it to have like a couple of bones or something at the bottom to give it that little bit more sturdiness. So I definitely can't have that in my display. But here we go. Now there's a Hello Kitty with some pumpkins and a rainbow. And in one of my previous videos, I believe I made an offhand comment about how I thought it was, you know, Hello Kitty and Halloween don't necessarily go together. By the way, love that bowl. Oh my gosh, with the moon and the bats and this one with the snakes. Those are gorgeous. But anyway, someone left me a comment in the video that the Hello Kitty merchandise just flies off the shelves. So uh, now you know. I didn't know. Does that mug have that same pattern as that bowl we saw earlier? I'm not really sure. Again, great thing about these videos, we can just rewind and take a look. Um, but that would make a nice little set. I'm, I'm enamored with that pattern for some reason. Of course, we have some Chucky shot glasses. I think, were those called like mini glasses or something? Are they just not calling them shot glasses anymore? Here we have some Pennywise mugs. 
one is a warmer, it looks like, of some sort, and it's $6, or you can get the regular mug for 5 I remember I used to have a coworker that was terrified of Pennywise, so naturally we took it upon ourselves to put Pennywise everywhere we possibly could. Of course, it was so many years ago that I had this coworker, but I'm trying to remember. I think the fa my favorite place I ever put like a an image of him was in her compact mirror, so that when she went to open it at work one day, she saw Pennywise and just about had a heart attack. Oh, that made my heart happy. So we have, look at this. So this is one of those beaded placemats. In our last video, as a matter of fact, from the World Market, we saw them just like that. It felt exactly the same. It's really heavy because it was made of beads. Very high quality. But the ones at the World Market were $20 each. Here, it's only seven. And I suspect they probably both get them from the same vendors because they were so much alike. Love, absolutely love this candle holder. It's beautiful and it was only $8. Isn't that less than that black one we saw on the shelf earlier that was a lot less interesting? Speaking of less interesting, so we got some fall merchandise here as well. Don't worry, there's still some more Halloween. But first we have to look, of course, at the mushrooms. I said this again in my last video too. I don't know where the mushroom theme seems to be coming from this year. They are absolutely everywhere. All right, we got some soap dispensers. That little dog coming out of the pumpkin was adorable. Got a little haunted house here. The skull is interesting. It's got like a snake skin texture. Very strange. But in the back hiding there is one of the items I forgot to buy. I might have to go back to get it because I've been looking for a soap dispenser for my kitchen sink that will go with my witch theme. So you have a little witch hat on some books. Does anybody else make sure that their soap dispensers match their decor? I mean, obviously you can buy general Halloween soap dispensers uh, from basically anywhere and that's always fun but in my house I tend to do certain themes throughout the whole house and not just like a general Halloween decor but something that's like this year's all witchy so I'd li I like to look for a witch soap dispenser and I think I found it and I gotta go back now and there are all those other things that I said the exact same thing about anyway we've got some throw blankets here again trying to find a witch themed throw blanket that one right there on the top that had like the cauldrons was a good contender um, but what is with the candy themes this year? So a lot of these uh, throw blankets have candy. That one obviously has the Reese's on it. This one's kind of neat with the skulls and the snakes. And there's bats, some more candy, dots. I wonder if those are like licensed. But I guess the candy makes sense. Trick or treat. Like Hershey's, look, there's a Hershey's themed blanket. But, you know, trick-or-treating, it's all about the candy, I suppose. So it does make sense that there is a blow pop uh, blanket. But this is one I went home with. I love the spiders. I'm not necessarily, you know, it's not a witch blanket, which I kind of wanted. But uh, just to give you kind of a little sneak peek of my display this year, I have witches, one particular one, the animatronic marionette witch from Home Depot. Be sure to check out that video if you want to see what I'm talking about. Her background is that she got somehow turned into this marionette and she's trying to find a spell that'll turn her back into a witch. But in my world, she has done something wrong, mixed up the spell books, and somehow brought forth an invasion of spiders instead. So I'm gonna have spiders invading my living room, which is why, again, long story short, I bought the spider blanket. But if you're not into the spiders, you got little ghosts, and some that look like Day of the Dead a little bit. The spider web here was not too bad, but it had bats in it too. I really just wanted something more plain than that, but I do like that blanket. And of course I needed a pillow to go with it, so we saw a few options again in the main pillow section here in the end cap. We can dig through, find a few more. So let's see, we've got a stack of pumpkins, and what is this one, a haunted house. I know there's bound to be some more spiders. I need a pillow that will go with that blanket. Here are a couple of spider pillows. So I like the purple and the black. I wanted to do purple and black throughout my living room, but uh, that kind of changed. So, you know, the display evolves as we move along and find the other perfect products. And then it's a domino effect to try and get it all to coordinate. I do like the black spider web. That was kind of nice. Of course, what are these skeletons doing just dancing? The pumpkins there are kind of nice. Another little haunted house. But down here, there's a tombstone and not what I'm looking for. There's one last shelf down here. 
uh, this is it. So I had my gray and black blanket and that sort of sparkly gray pillow went with it. So that's what I got. Of course, I do have to go back and get my other things now too, but if I needed any fold decor, they've got it in spades. We've got a lot of pumpkins. I guess this is kind of Halloweenish too. If you need some general pumpkin decor, but I call this the fall stuff, which we're just going to kind of skim past as quickly as possible. A couple of jack-o'-lanterns there. And of course we need a wreath for the front door. Now before we go, I did want to say a special thank you to the patrons who help support the channel. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out a link to my Patreon page in the description below. And look, they're still putting out merchandise. This lady has a whole cart full of it. So we'll have to come back maybe if they have a lot more stuff, a lot of different stuff later, because you never know what you're going to find. I think it changes all the time. So I did want to do the grand reveal of the mystery items I purchased at the end of the video, but I think I already spoiled that. So let's just go ahead and wrap it up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested and you enjoyed what you saw. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.